Hello, <laughs> YouTube. Ty Rogue here, and we are getting down with some kills on Mercenary gameplay on the map Inlet, I think. But um, using the STA 52. I'm over here fucking up. I thought I had all the shit memorized by now. But basically, in this commentary, I just want to talk about the power of the internet and what it's been doing recently. So uh, not even recently, just what it's been doing to the gaming community and just. I can't say online community because, yeah, just, just what it's been doing to the gaming community. So, as we all know, ever since online gaming started, gaming has just taken a huge competitive, like, flip or whatever. Like, you, like to me, gaming just used to be about fun, not really, oh, I'm going to bust my friend's ass. Usually, it, yeah, you can have that little competitive edge, but it just seems like that's just what most games are meant for nowadays, is just that competitive edge. But some do have that fun factor. But most, uh, most really don't right now. You're up top, aren't you? Dang it! I can't, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. No. Eh, no, no. Yeah, I got it. But um, basically, I watched the um Grand Theft Auto Five review that Gamespot did by a transgendered woman by the name of Carolyn Petit. And she gave the game a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's a, that's a good-ass score, right? But apparently, that just means... Um, that just means it's a good game. Not like, oh, it's an amazing game, it's this, it's that. No, it literally means it's labeled as good. So I thought that was like, wait a minute. I'm usually a 7 out of 10, that's good. Or maybe even a high 6, like a 6.8. Could be good. Not a fucking nine. Like that should be like amazing or great or some. I don't know something like that. And GTA Five uh, fanboys and just Grand Theft Auto fanboys in general. That didn't sit right with them. They were pissed, and they just basically just spat out the most hateful, cruel. Some of them were not. I'm not gonna say they were funny. I got look. I ain't get a chuckle out of any of them. But this is like it was very creative comments. It was just like. Damn, all over a fucking video game. That 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 hurt that that doesn't hurt me. It just I'm over here stuttering my ass off. It doesn't affect me, but it just makes me think like if that's just Grand Theft Auto's community. And they made three fucking billion uh not three billion, ah, uh, excuse me. They made one billion dollars in three days. That, you know how many people bought that shit? You know how many people think like that? Just imagine how many other gamers are like that. And how many other people are out in the world like that. That's just some scary ass shit. Like, how, like, what is up with all the hate? Like, gaming used to be, like, about fun all the time. Not just that competitive edge. But then again, for me, I love online gaming. As you can see, I'm always trying to find new games to play online they're just so much fun it looks like i'm lagging a little bit too but it's also hurt the community as well is it as much as it helped it added a new competitive edge added well made a bunch of people turn into assholes or just brought the asshole out of a lot of people so it really it's, i'm not gonna say online gaming this like did no wrong because trust me it, it, it's done plenty of wrong i don't know it's just it's just sad to see gaming turn into this just this battlefield of hatred I, I just can't stand it it's like so just so annoying and i hope you guys are enjoying this gameplay because this sta 52 i used to have a hard time using it until like i just got used to the gun and i just started shitting on people and i was just like man this gun's beast but um i'm about to get my mantis engine in a second which i feel is the most overpowered vanguard aka kill streak in the game I just feel as though it is so overpowered because that thing literally, for me, it's hard to kill. Maybe it's because I'm just sucking, but that shit would be hard to kill for me. But, um, basically, man, it's just the power of the internet has just really, really just soured my taste, especially for Call of Duty recently because I really, I'm actually kind of excited for Call of Duty Ghost just because I want a new Call of Duty game to actually like emerge but then again it's not like they're really making that much of a difference i saw some of the difference they made it i was i wasn't a little impressed with the gameplay i liked it a lot but it's just like i don't even know they're not doing a lot of a lot of things different with the game everyone knows that they've been doing the same shit 
for a very long time. And then once I actually went back and played Modern Warfare 2 recently, I was just like, damn, this shit actually does feel the same. Like, damn, they really didn't change. And now I know why all the Battlefield, well, I'm not going to say Battlefield fanboys, I know why all the Call of Duty haters have been really getting on Call of Duty's ass about not changing and doing this and doing that. When really, all I paid attention to with what they changed was kill streaks, guns, maps, and all that other stuff. Really, gameplay-wise, they don't change. But then again, that's Activision for you because they really don't change any of their games. They're trying to change. I'm glad they are, but they're really not being innovative, which is kind of bad. I think that they should take actually some years off because that that would be good. Like I want to miss Call of Duty for a while. It's not like I'm missing now. Like I'm just like when I get bored of that Call of Duty that came out, I'll just be like, oh well, well the next one comes out in the year, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and move to that one. It's not really like I'm anticipating it. It's just more of oh okay, I'm gonna get it the, the next November, so it, it's no big deal. Not this little piece of shit. <laughs> Give me that. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Is it chasing me? No, it's not chasing me, sweet. But, um, I don't know how this uh, power of the internet went to Call of Duty. I don't know. But, um, pretty much, I just wish that the online community of gaming in general could just actually be more considerate of actually other people's feelings. I know that sounds very, very weird, but it's fucking true. Just like, think about it. If somebody said that shit to you, you would hate that shit, wouldn't you? You just can't expect to say that shit to somebody and expect them not to do anything because real shit, like, if you said that shit to me on the street, like, you a dumb nigger bitch and you're just some little whiny little kid, I'm going to kick you in your little ass because you said that shit to me. Like, you need to learn some fucking manners. Like, don't do that shit because you will get hurt. Like, people don't play out there. Like, there are actually crazy people out there that will fucking hurt you just because you say some shit to them. So, actually take that in consideration in the uh, online community. And I'm over here raping with this thing. You see how overpowered this thing is? It's meant for stealth. Imagine if this thing was invisible. Okay, is that another Mantis engine? Like, literally, this is the only Vanguard that I actually see people use next to the Porcupine. You bitch. But, um, this gameplay is just about over. We got three kills to win. The host didn't dashboard this time, because I've been in a few games, and the host would leave just because they're getting pooped on. But, um, overall, man, just the online community of gaming just needs to... Just needs to be more considerate of other people because it's just not some of the shit that they do is just not cool. And how did that not, last bullet not kill him? Like, I'm not saying, oh, online gaming needs to stop because then again, that's what's been making not, I'm gonna say it, but has been making a lot of money. But that's what's been keeping people into playing the games is the multiplayer. Like, think about if Call of Duty was only a single player game, how many people do you actually think would really? Like, enjoy playing it so much like they do right now. The multiplayer is what keeps them going. Ah, ooh, shit. Okay, we need to hurry up and get these last two kills right now because, yeah, I'm tired of playing on this map. This is a very, very good map, but I don't know. I've been playing on it the last three matches. So, yeah, I'm ready for some marketplace. That's my favorite map. I'm loving that one. Okay, we got 60 seconds. Give me that! What? Okay, you're gonna suck on that nade though. Scooby. Okay, and we got one more kill to win. And we won the game, baby. So, um, like this video, favorite it, comment. If you're a new person watching this video, go ahead and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the online gaming community. All that stupid shit. <laughs> Just let me know what you think about all the fuckery that's been going on with these people. The hateful comments, the hateful slurs. Just how online gaming has just become a threshold for these assholes. But it's not all like that because there's actually good people that you meet in online gaming. This is not all douchebags. But, um... Yeah, like I said, leave a comment, like it, subscribe, and that's it, guys. Oh, my Valor's almost filled up. Okay, but that's it, guys. Tyrogas out.